Thank you so much. That is my welcome to you for this International Jazz Day. You never know really quite what form jazz might take. For me, uh, thinking about that is that jazz, we're often calling on our ancestors, our jazz ancestors, to keep the music alive for what people have taught us, what they brought our way. This International Jazz Day, as you may know, um, was created by Herbie Hancock with UNESCO. The Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz handles a lot of the details. So UNESCO is, to remind you, is United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. That's amazing. It's a little bittersweet to me if it's become a UNESCO um, uh, cult, you know, a cultural event, in that means we're trying to preserve this. And so it's like endangered sites, like World Heritage Sites. Um, so those of us who live in the South, those of us who are jazz musicians, we know that it's not in danger of dying because we're living it every day. Um, but we so appreciate you coming out to support and, and keep your listening ears and f see if you can find where jazz comes up in other forms of music. It informs everything. So, as a UNESCO event, it's to promote dignity among all people. It's to promote dialogue among cultures and to create peace. So this art form that started in the South has gone international. Something born out of something actually quite horrific created life, new birth, and creation that has gone to all people. That's pretty amazing, right?